In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the look and feel of your membership sign up and login widget on your website. We'll go ahead and start by editing the website and then click add followed by membership. And that's going to open up your membership feature wizard. And from here, you're going to answer some questions. Now I'm on my home page, so uh, would I like to make this page accessible to members only? I'm going to say no. Uh, we'll go ahead and make the contact page the page that you get sent to when you do log in. I want to make this uh, manual approval. And then yes, here's where it gets the good stuff. I want to add the membership login widget to this page. And then we'll go ahead and place that accordingly. Now by default, you can see that it's blue, standard hyperlink color. Uh, and that is actually managed within the design tab. And that's the first way that we're going to show you how to manage this look and feel of this thing. A couple different ways you can do it. Uh, again, by default, uh, the sign up and login widget, they're basically just hyperlinks. So they're going to follow the hyperlink design style uh, within the text styles of your design tab. So let's go ahead and click the design tab to get into there. Click text style. And then scroll down and then choose the hyperlinks tab. You can see that the blue is selected, uh, and then you've got some other options here. Uh, what do you want it to look like when it's underlined, hover underlined, etc.? So based on the look and feel of my website, uh, I've got a lot of white text. Uh, the white would look good on here, so I want to make my hyperlinks white. And the hover color, uh, let's get creative. We'll make it, uh, maybe we'll choose something on this site here. Uh, let's just go with the... Maybe a lighter blue, how about that? Um, and then underline, I don't want an underline when I'm not uh, hovering over it, but when I hover over it, I want to underline. And we'll just leave it like that. And then when we close that, you can see that that's how it wor works. When I hover over it, it underlines and changes that blue color. And of course you can save that. We'll view that live. And you can see that function there. Now, the second way to do that, if you have this uh, sign up widget on another page, for example, and let's say, uh, let's say that this image is, and I'm just going to grab something arbitrary here. And, and obviously, that's not a great image for this website, but uh, it, it, it shows a good example of, of a problem now with that color that we've chosen for all of our hyperlinks. While I may not want to change the default style for my hyperlinks, that certainly doesn't work for my login widget anymore. So I can simply select that, choose from the set color icon, choose a text color, and in here, let's just go with that blue color. And now it's visible. Go ahead and save the page. And view site. And you can see it still follows the underline rules that I added, but the color is going to default to this static color for both hover and non-hover. And that's going to work for individual cases just like this. Go ahead and close that out. That covers just about everything in terms of changing the style and design of your membership login widget. If you have any other questions about adding the membership to your page or with web starts in general, be sure to reach out to our support team and we'd be happy to help out.